Here's what we're working with. These drawers are very big. The room is quite small, but I would say it's very efficient. So then I just have my sweaters and some of my nicer nighttime pieces hung up. Some shoes down there. My tech stuff over here. This is nice because I can like hide a few things in there. I don't want to see. I've used like every little <laughs> nook and cranny I possibly could. And then I really, I don't like wearing shoes inside, but there's really not a good spot in the doorway. So this will be my switching area. This is the bathroom. Nice shower. It's got a rain shower and a nozzle, which I love. If you don't have a hanging organizer for your stuff when you're traveling, I recommend getting one. It was a game changer for me. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna sleep for like, I don't know, an hour <laughs> and then get up and go do stuff. It's only nine o'clock, like it's 9 a.m. I love that 6 a.m. flight so much. Yay! I'm so excited that it's snowing. It makes me so happy. I just needed a little, a little snow, a little, a little winter. Something that really feels like winter. And so I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm really excited to be here. It's really snowing out there. It's awesome. Okay, I'm about to head to Soul Cycle. So I actually don't often wear headphones while I'm walking around places for various reasons, but beyond like the obvious kind of safety ones, I think the biggest one is like, I feel really disconnected from a place when I have headphones in. Like I feel overwhelmed, I feel disconnected. It makes me more nervous. I feel like I'm gonna get lost. Like it's just, for me, not the vibe. So I will not be wearing headphones. But I am very cute. And the only reason I'm gonna put my headphones in this time, a headphone in, is for directions. Okay, bye. It's cold, but it's not too cold. So cycles the shit. I loved it. I get it. I get the hype. I'm like very excited to go back. As far as vegan dumplings go, these are pretty good, but I have yet to have a vegan dumpling that is as deeply satisfying as a pork dumpling. I was actually talking with a client the other day and we were just talking about how like on this journey of trying to heal, especially the relationship that you have with your body and kind of like undo, unlearn and divest from all the bullshit that society has just bred into us at this point. It's unfortunate when, and this is like so many things, it's hard to be specific, when essentially like white supremacy, capitalism, patriarchy, grab hold of these very pure things. Like I think being plant-based, eating locally, things like that are very pure. And I think they're very good for the body. I'm not saying exclusively, but like in a in my ideal world, my, like my literal world, if I could be totally vegan, I would. It's just, my brain just still doesn't have space for the restriction of it. Even though I intellectually like know I feel so good when I'm vegan. It's a really, and like, like a smattering of meat every now and then. That's why I say plant-based, but I'm morally very aligned with it. I'm ethically very aligned with it. My values are aligned with it. My body's aligned with it. But unfortunately, my brain, <laughs> it, it triggers me to this day. And it's unfortunate. Maybe one day, but not today. I mean, I guess right now. <laughs> I kind of booked myself up a little bit today. Um, so I just did SoulCycle. Super fun. And then I'm gonna hop on the subway and I'm heading to
to like another area of Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm in Williamsburg and I am going to Sada, which is a like a pole wellness studio. I rented the space for me. I'm just gonna dance. It's all my intention is to dance. I made a playlist, you can find it on my Spotify. It's gonna be a good time. My body is like so warm and gooey right now too. It's snowing, it's gorgeous out. I'm obsessed. So yeah, and then after that, I think I'll probably shower, maybe try to catch dinner somewhere while I catch up on some work. I did come to New York for my birthday kind of week weekend, but I did spend a lot of time working. And so there's not a lot of daytime footage because I spent a lot of my days working behind my computer. A lot of my time at night was spent going out with my friends over the weekend. And then I spent a lot of time alone. It was truly kind of not a totally solo week, but definitely a high solo birthday week. I love spending time alone and my birthday is no different. It was lovely to see my friends over the weekend and it was well balanced with getting to spend time alone during the week. Happy birthday dear Reyna. Reyna. Happy birthday to I love New York so much. It's beautiful, it's vibrant, it's diverse, it's interesting. It's a little loud for me, so I don't think I could live there presently, but there are some dreams where I do. So I wrote in the paper. for a time I never lived through, you know? <laughs> and I love seafood. It just brings me so close to the earth and to God. I feel so alive and so oh, deeply connected with this world when I eat sushi and oysters and just like raw fish. There's something so mm, guttural and ethereal at the same time about eating raw fish and it just it hits my soul, maybe because I'm an island gal, but it hits my soul in this like deep and penetrative way. And I booked, 
I did already go to the spa and I had like a whole birthday morning there. I did, however, book a, a morning again, just a day pass in the soaking pools. It's $45 for the morning, which is, especially for New York, is like incredibly reasonable. But I think like for the quality of sauna and like soaking tubs they have at this, at Bathhouse Williamsburg, $45 is an absolute steal for something that um, is so soothing for me. And so I'm gonna do that in the morning. I need to pack. <sighs> I've not packed very much. I might pack a little bit tonight. I don't really know. I'm pretty drunk. But yeah, it's been a wonderful, wonderful trip to New York. I've had such a good time. <sighs> I'm just like, I like feel like I've cried so many times this trip. Not like sobbed or anything, but just like been brought to tears because I'm just like so overwhelmed with gratitude by what I've been able to do while I'm here and the people I've been able to see and uh, just New York is so magnificent um it really is truly just I think one of my favorite places it's so incredible it's so deep and interesting and entertaining and like I never feel like I need to wear headphones <laughs> or I just never, I always feel so, um, I'm excited to get home to see my dog. I could live here. I don't know, it's very loud. And I'm not, um, you know, I'm not really, I like a fair bit of quiet. I don't need like silence by any means. I actually prefer like a little bit of ambient noise, but <sighs> it's really loud here. <laughs> like a type of loud that I'm just like I feel like I'm just really not sure if I could deal with um it's also a full moon tonight in Leo which is pretty exciting my birthday often or at least for the last few few years has fallen right around the full moon and I really I like that for me one of my favorite parts about staying in hotels is that Comedy Central plays The Office what feels like almost non-stop but then the last two days they've been playing Seinfeld which I hate I fucking hate Seinfeld um if I have to choose like an annoying group of white people to be entertained by it's gonna be friends it's gonna be friends I'm sorry <laughs> anyway so hopefully the office is on if not I'm gonna put Law and Order SUV on because that's also always on. I've been in so many hotels this year. <laughs> okay, I love you. Goodbye. It's on. <laughs>